Bonjour. Bonjour les amis. Welcome to the Loire Valley. Welcome to Tours. A bit of an impromptu appearance, but I was checking out a uh, beautiful place in my city in Tours, and I thought this was too good not to share. It looks like a construction site. It also looks like a religious site. So we're going to be talking about that in a minute. Bonjour, bienvenue. I thought you would enjoy seeing all this. I am standing right outside the uh, magnificent Saint Gatien Cathedral in Tours. There is a cloister, uh, le cloître de la Psalette, attached to the cathedral. And I hadn't been here yet to check it out. So I thought I would do that today. Uh, this is one of about a hundred monuments, maybe more, that are managed by a branch of the French Ministry of Culture, Le Centre des Monuments Nationaux. And if you have um, the card, you can get in uh, for those monuments, you can actually get in for free. So that's what I did today. I am on the first floor of what is left of what was once a beautiful cloister. This cloister was added in the uh, 15th century and they kept working on it until the 16th century. So I'm going to show you what's left of it. Obviously the French Revolution wasn't too kind uh, to this building, as is often the case with religious sites. But there are a couple of rooms that you can visit. If you come here, the visit is about three euros, something like that. Here is the first of the two rooms you can see, and I hope the cell signal is going to hold up here. This was the scriptorium, the place where they worked on creating books, on writing books from the mid 15th century on. Tour was actually quite renowned at that time. Uh, a lot of artists came here um, to, to work with this religious community. You can see this fireplace. So the style um, in this cloister is basically from the late Gothic to the Renaissance style. You can see here this, this amazing fireplace that survived somehow. And I'm discovering it almost as you are because this is my first time here. So I just took a, a quick tour, walked around <laughs> and checked things out and thought I would show you as well share what I see, which is what I do as a virtual tour guide. Here was the library. It's empty today, but it was quite renowned. Look at this incredible room. So remember, this was built in the 15th century, and they kept working on it through the Renaissance in the 16th century. The stained glass art is beautiful, but it's much more recent. It was added in the 60s, apparently. But I love what they did. Welcome if you just joined us. This is an impromptu stroll. It's Thursday afternoon in France. A beautiful day, a little bit chilly. But before I go home to teach, the last of my French online French boot camps, French classes tonight, I thought I would stop by, by the cathedral. I love coming to the cathedral and check out finally this cloister and it didn't disappoint. So here you are with me. Can you hear the echo? There's a bit of an echo in these old walls. I particularly enjoyed what's carved here, the chauve-souris bats. See them? And each pillar is different. These are apples. They're all different. So again, this was the uh, library of the uh, cloister, Le Cloître de la Psalette, and it was quite renowned. A long, empty room today. In the 15th century, from the mid 15th century on, Tours became a major center of the arts in France. 
and it was renowned for the skill of the people who decorated those books, les enlumineurs, the illuminators. This is what a book would have looked like in the high Middle Ages, and this is what an enlumineur would have done. They would have decorated this book, and I am back in the scriptorium, the, the, the room where they wrote, and you can see the illustrations they did in spite of the reflection. So we are on the first floor of the cloister, and I have something to show you. Now, you hear construction sounds, and how perfect is this? You know, I've noticed that people who come to tour and see the cathedral will often comment and say, hmm, it's not quite as sparkling and impressive as some other cathedrals in France. No, that's because it's very old. <laughs> the current cathedral has been here since the 12th century, and they're working on it right now. And I thought it'd be very interesting for us to take a closer look at what they're doing, because this is what's happening at Notre Dame following the fire, but how close can you get? I mean, we are right there on the construction site. And so you can really picture this is what they're doing right now to restore Notre Dame. Look at the difference of the color of the stone on what's already been cleaned up here. Look at the work they've done. And I can see them work. Earlier they were talking to each other and someone was singing even. This is history in action, my friends. In 2021, an old cathedral dating back to the 12th century is being restored. And we are standing in the cloister that was linked to the cathedral. This walk here was actually the oldest one here. That's how I arrived. And look at these guys. They are actually rain spouts, but these are interesting looking ones. And I've saved the best for last because from up here, look at the shadow of this gargoyle. This is amazing. And you want to see them up close? This is the top of a beautiful staircase, an escalier à vis, vis being a screw, V-I-S. It's a spiral staircase. I will uh, share a photo of it later because you can see it from up here. Look at this friendly gentleman here. And this spiral staircase was built or modeled after a famous staircase in the beautiful Chateau de Blois, the Blois Castle that was built under Francis I. So I will share a photo later so you can see the exterior of the staircase. This is how I came down here. I came up here, sorry. Look. All right, I said I saved the best for last. And I was talking about our great cathedral here, Saint Gatien. Saint-Gatien Cathedral, which I have featured on virtual tours before. We are on the northern side of the cathedral. This is the transept. And this rose window, this rose window dates back to the 14th century. You see the arc bouton on the left and on the right, the flying buttresses. What's very special here at the Tour Cathedral is that the cathedral, like I said, dates back to the 12th century, but they continued working on it up to the 16th century. And in fact, the top of the two towers is quite rare in France because you see those rounded shaped uh, domes up there. This is 16th century France, and that's quite unusual on the cathedral. They're mm -hmm. also different, slightly different, as are the towers because they were built quite a few years apart. So you are standing right next to a cathedral, probably as close as you can get up in the air like this, through the cloister where I'm standing. And I thought you would enjoy seeing this. There's beautiful stained glass work in this cathedral. Some of it has been destroyed, some of it has been restored. We ha even have contemporary stained glass that tells a story. 
uh, but some of it um, was built at the same time as the Saint Chapelle in Paris, and so uh, it's quite remarkable as well. So here is the construction site. Those gentlemen are working right now on restoring this this cathedral. And this is a great place to be for just three euros or three euros fifty maybe. You can enter the cloister from the cathedral. And if the scaffoldings weren't here, we would actually be able to see on the lower part of the cathedral on that side, the um, Gallo-Roman wall that was built in the fourth century to protect the city. So this is a cathedral from the 12th century that actually sits on a Gallo-Roman wall dating back to the fourth century. There's a lot to discover here, a lot to discover in the city. I'm making progress now. I'm starting to get it, to, to know it pretty well, exploring new sites each week. There's also much to see in the beautiful Touraine region, the Loire Valley, as it is known outside the famous chateaus. And I'm planning to continue exploring it and sharing with you what I see. So I think I will, um, let's say a quick little hello as I like to do. Bonjour, friends. Here, why don't I do this so you can see the beautiful staircase behind me, the spiral staircase, l'escalier à vis. Quick little hello. Blue skies in tour today. We're very lucky. There's rain in the forecast next week, but for now we're enjoying it. So I hope you've enjoyed joining me today here in uh, Tour in the Loire Valley in my city. I just can't get enough of this light. I think it's the way it just shines on those stones is just beautiful. And this is where we were walking earlier on the first floor of the cloister. And I'll show you the bottom part and then I'll wrap up. Here's part of the escalier à vis, the spiral staircase. You can kind of see it with the gargoyles in the foreground. And there you go. Thanks to technology, you have just traveled to the high Middle Ages and the Renaissance. A bientôt, mes amis. See you soon, friends.